All right, everything should be up and running correctly, hopefully, by now. So let's go ahead and without further ado, let's pick right back up where I left off on Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I think I was going to Kakariko Village is the last thing that I was going to do. Oh, I got one friend online. Munasu, it's a good buddy of mine that I just saw the other day. Oh boy, I can be downloadable content. I'll have to check that out later and see what that's all about. Uh, oh man, look at all these auto saves. But the last time I saved was here, by the looks of the time. Let's go ahead and hop right in there. <clears throat> wonder if they're ever going to give me a map so that I can have an idea of where I can get to in exploring. Because... The world seems a little massive, and I found a couple little things just by running around all over the place. But, so far, it's been... Just a small area I wasn't already was uh, pretty big. Sure, but let's go ahead and get this started anytime now. Alright, so we're back on the Great Plateau Tower. My favorite drop... Oh, wait, but you know what? We don't have to do it like this anymore. We can do this now. I no longer have to worry about the long drop of doom. I like how they don't like really uh, paint such an ominous picture down here anymore. And see, this is the last time I did it. Let's uh, just slowly go ahead and drop down. So I know I can teleport back up here. But I wonder if you can climb back up here. This is kind of tempting because now I have this whole world and my fingertips that I can explore. Alright, Hyrule Kingdom. What do I've got on me? I've got my little dank sword over here. Out of morbid curiosity, can I take on this giant creature of doom? Hey there, do you want to be fr- Oh, you do not want to be friends. Alright, so you, you have like a little double swing thing that you do. Okay, we're off to a bang up start. How does one like backstep or I gotta figure out how to dodge you know what dodging would be a good idea for me to figure that out first is there no like back jump because that would be kind of bad for me right oh god there's no back jump at least not one that I can figure out intuitively uh 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 have a gift for you adios that's right you didn't expect that did you you're probably very angry at me but I don't care! Kaboom! Oh, it didn't explode. Let me lure him back over here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Boom! Oh, you're just out of reach. That's okay. That's alright. I just gotta build some distance from you. Drop this over here. Oh, they're kind of smart. He tried to, like, like, once he realized there was danger there, he tried to avoid it. I right, said, so that was a moblin. Short fang obtained from a moblin. It's too hard to be reshaped into a tool, but it can be tossed into a stew with some critters to create elixirs. And a moblin horn. A splendid horn once grew atop the head of a moblin. It can't be used in normal food recipes, but it does have some uses as an ingredient in making elixirs. And a boko bat. A clunky club made by a boko blin. If you swing it at an enemy shield, it may be able to knock the shield out of your foe's hand. And a moblin fang and can't carry any more of these. And I'm I'm hurting real bad. If I'm in combat, there's no way for me to like I used to be able to back jump and all this other stuff, and now I can't, so Hey, that's a fox. What are you doing? Are you gonna... Oh, yeah. S smooth. Smooth, Link. What am I talking about? How can I criticize Link right now? Uh... Oh, the spear. Let's pick this back up. It's amazing how quickly I forget how to do stuff after not playing for a couple of days. 
can use it as a throwing weapon. And the Traveler's Spear broke, and on top of that, the Fox is just running away at this point now. Uh, yeah. And now I'm tired out, I'm tuckered out. Do I not have bows? What's going on here? Hold on, this cannot be the case. Why do I not have a bow equipped? Stop. Oh, it's because I'm pressing the wrong button. Interesting. Tell me more, game. It's not fun. Also, it's raining now. Also, I have half a heart. Also, I will likely die again. Also, where am I going? I know where I'm supposed to head out. And we're in such a wonderful place with all these... These means of exploration. Oh boy, skeleton. Somebody's gonna get up and fight me, right? Oh no, I was wrong. Alright, anything of use in here? No? Just the, the remains of a building. Nothing more, huh? And you hear that ominous noise. Oh, these guys are back. But this time... I now know not to swing like an idiot. Swing the ones to kill him and pick up all my choo-choo jelly. I have learned. What's that over yonder? Appears to have been a wagon that people may have used for travel. Will we find neato stuff in here? Oh, I can search it. I found amber. That's neat. <clears throat> can I grab these fellas? Oh, I could. Warm Darner. This dragonfly has a special organ that causes it to sweat profusely. Cooking up monster parts for an elixir that will raise your core temperature so you can resist the cold. So it's one of these, uh, put it in your food kind of deal. Is that an opening in the cave over there? There would appear to be some sort of opening in that cave. I apologize for being so scrubby. <sighs> so there are plants in here. Can I do anything with these plants? I cannot do anything with these plants. At least I don't think I can do anything with these plants. I kinda wish there was a faster way to travel right now. I mean, if I could just infinitely run, it wouldn't be such a big deal, but the whole stamina gauge thing kinda puts a damper on that. I hear a fox. I'm not even gonna try. Last time I tried to chase one of you guys, they all ran me because I forgot how to use my bow. Restless Cricket. Very energetic cricket. Cricket with monster parts to create a stamina recovery elixir. Oh, but that fox... That fox does not know I am here, does he? Your traveler's bow is badly damaged. Alright. I murdered for raw meat. Meat obtained from an animal in the plains and forest. You can eat it raw, but cricket will make it more delicious and nutritious. Outpost ruins. Yeah, let's not get wrecked by these guys. I only have a quarter heart left. It's making me kind of anxious. Let's go ahead and uh, get some of the food I prepared just for such just for such an occasion. Eat it. Eat it, Link. There we go. Oh, hello, my friend. You have no idea I'm here, though. I can get a good shot at your face. There's also a treasure chest here. Oh, that was not your head, though. Oh, I guess we will be doing the combat of the swords. You have a rusty shield. It's likely this rusty old shield once belonged to a knight. 
It still has some defensive capabilities, but its usefulness has been worn down by time. Bocal Blend Guts. A rare material obtained by defeating a Bocal Blend. It convulses on its own every now and then, which is really creepy, but perhaps it has a use. Yeah, that's kind of weird. There's also a treasure chest here, so what's in here? Red Rupee! 20 rupees. Its red luster tickles your heartstrings. Oh man, I actually have money! So, there is a money system in this game. Wait, what? A rusty broadsword. So money does have a use in this game. Gotcha. What's over yonder? I like how I'm using this as essentially a means to zoom into stuff. Can I break this? What's here? A rusty broadsword. You can't carry any more. You're so... I don't like you right now. There's so much of my stuff is about to break. What's this? A rusty halberd. And I hope there's a means for me to carry more stuff because this is kind of... This whole limited inventory stuff. Oh man. Lots of foodstuffs which is necessary. Oh, there's another treasure chest up here. Let's climb up. What's in here? A traveler's bow. Very useful. Anything, guys? Just lots of apples for me to cook. And a wooden bow. This bow... I'm sorry, this wooden bow may not be the most reliable for battling monsters, but it is excellent for hunting small animals. I'm gonna assume that the remains of... This thing is gonna have some... Yep, there we go, an ancient spring. I really don't know what these things are gonna be used for, but... Oh, hey, hello. But I assume it's gonna be some sort of crafting thing. Alright, let's put this away. Let's pick this up. Let's toss it. Does it break? Yes, it does. If we toss it, maybe if we toss it enough times, it'll break. Come on, you. Destroy yourself. I'm sure this one will break. No, it won't. You know, as time wears on, I'm sure... Why am I not using my brain? I don't have to destroy stuff. I could just... Just do this, run away, blow it up. Am I using the square ones? I'm using the square ones. I mean, not that they're bad, but... It just did not occur to me that I was using the square ones. I guess that must have been from the last time I was playing. Is there anything up here? Nope. A very nasty storm we're in. I wonder if Lincoln gets sick. <laughs> There's the Oregon Trail all over again. Make sure you eat stuff to stay healthy. It's just gonna be ominously raining the entire time until I get to Kakariko Village, cause... Yeah. Rusty shield. You can't carry any more of these, son. Whatever. I guess I could just, you know, go to Twin Peaks like I was told to do. Not explore all this wonderful terrain that they've given me. weird rock formation here. This came from that one over there. That one has a really... Oh boy, look, it's my fa... Hello. It's my favorite kind of people. These giant monsters that I will now do combat with. Bye! Dropping this bomb. Making it explode. Yeah, take that, you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Chill, 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 chill. Boom! Uh, it's gonna take a bit, but I will defeat you by dropping bombs on you because getting anywhere near you is apparently hazardous to my health. Oh, there's a sign there. Please don't destroy the sign. I feel like that might be useful. And telling me where the heck I'm going. Come on there, buddy. 
You're almost down. You're almost down for the count. Gotcha! Yeah! Get some materials from you. There's a big old flag here. So this was something of use, I assume. Maybe I can climb up here. Something up here of use. Maybe. I don't know. Only to fall right back down. Lots of weapons seem to be strewn about everywhere. In a hundred years of just sitting out here and getting weathered will do that to you, right? Oh, why did you put away your shield? Running, running, running! No, seriously, how can I dodge? This is getting really old really fast. He's almost dead. I hope that there will be some, like, old dude. Be like, hey, why don't you know how to properly save your life? Learn how to fight. Because nothing from the old games are here to help you dodge. Maybe I should have watched all those, like, previews of the game so I could have watched people figure out how to do things. Because right now, all I'm doing is getting destroyed, and my equipment gets destroyed, and it's very demoralizing. So I'm in some sort of woods here, and there's another choo-choo thing. I could chop down the tree with this? Oh my god, you can chop down the tree with your sword. It's kind of like one of those... It's gonna be a Minecraft-esque feel to it, only in the sense of, like... Use the right equipment to do the right job, otherwise you're just gonna end up wasting it kind of deal. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Oh, there's something up there. At least I saw something shiny. Bird egg! A fresh bird egg necessary for making dishes such as omelets and crepes. You can snag them from bird's nests if you're sneaky, nutritious, and delicious for cooking. Oh, there were a few here. Ooh. More mushrooms, Hylian mushrooms. Oh, look, another massive building of doom, unless I've come full circle. Outpost ruins. Map! Oh, whoops. Map! I like how nothing is drawn out for me. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I just saw it's kind of broken up into provinces, so now I'm seeing all of the provinces of the Kingdom Hyrule. Definitely looks like it's going to be the biggest of the Hyrule Kingdoms that I'm going to see. What is this? A wooden bow that I cannot carry. I bet you have something I need. Come on, don't be shy with it. Oh, that ominous music, like it's just gonna get up and fight me any second now. the tower I came from, I assume. Yeah, let's mark that. Oh, great. Let's not stick around for this, because... Luckily, I have seared steaks, but I mean... Are you still chasing me? I think I'm in the clear. Oh, 
Oh, look, it's just a giant pedestal. Just hanging out there, huh? I really should just make my way to Copper Eagle Village. I think I'm just gonna do that. And, uh. Afterwards. You know what? Let me not. I have a feeling I know why this is here. And can I climb this? It's. In my current stamina, would not appear that I can climb this. Unless you just end up wasting more stamina if you just jump. Which I'm beginning to think that's the case, because now it looks like I might be able to make it. Huh, interesting. So you can use a ton of stamina to get up quicker, but at the cost of I won't go as high. So it's one of those, I guess, use it sparingly kind of things. I technically probably could have climbed on top of- Oh, hey! Did not expect this, honestly. Thought it was just gonna be like a vantage point. Oh, a sapphire. Definitely haven't gotten any of those before. Is there anything of use up there? Vantage point kind of deal? No, guess not. Kind of wanted to go over there, right? So. And over there, that ominous... You should probably get here! Yeah. Whoosh. I wonder how long it'll be before I get my hat actually look like Link. Is that a flock of keys? Oh crap, that is a flock of keys. That is a flock of... The... Come back here, you! Whatever you were! Great. Flock of keys! I did not expect to have to deal with a flock of keys. I scare them off? It would appear I've scared them off. Good riddance. Oh, I, I don't want to deal with you. Take that. Anything up here of use, maybe, kind of? Just a rock. Oh boy, it's one of these guys. Yeah, ha ha, you found me. And I get a Korok seed. Bye bye oh, My bad. Didn't mean to, like, uh... Hit you with that. But you're... The creators have not made the most intuitive of controls for me. Oh crap, here we go again. I guess that ends up scaring them off. Cool, they're gone forever. I wonder. Go. Go. Hey, what's that thing? Oh boy, I got me some raw meat. One can only assume I'm supposed to get over there. Huh. It also appeared that there's a tower over there. That's really, really close. And so, thus, I am gonna go there first. Also, we just push this down. I feel like that's its purpose. What? How is that a hiding spot? Yahaha, you found me! 
Interesting. I was really not expecting that. <laughs> Look at it go down this hole. This looks like it is a dungeon of some sort. here? Better question. Can I just do this? As it rolls completely away from where I wanted it to be. Stop following me! I just killed myself because it rolled in my general direction. That's really annoying. I'm not even gonna lie. In fact, how did it even roll to me? It did that intentionally. Oh, this is so annoying. Where's it gonna start me off from? Oh, back here from when I saved this little guy, huh? I don't think I've ever died so much in a Zelda game. Especially in the early parts of it. This isn't a typical Zelda game, I guess, is it? <clears throat> Bosch Kala Shrine. <clears throat> Things have been giving me kind of neato stuff, so I guess let's see. Uh, let's see what's in here. <clears throat> so I guess the dungeons are just mini dungeons now. I guess maybe. Maybe some of these will teach me how to dodge instead of giving me just like little techniques to put for the Sheikah Stone, or Slate, I should say. Because right now, I feel kind of useless. <clears throat> oh, well, hello there. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Boshkala. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Well, here's an idea. First, are you magnetic? You are not magnetic. Well, I guess I should jump. There we go. What's in here? Amber. Yay. So these are not climbable walls. So they want me to solve it using wind puzzles, huh? Alright, so... we to my death. Let's just go ahead and fall because it's obvious I'm gonna die there. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to get a running start or not, but I have been doing it, so whatever. Why is this staircase here? So that I can make my way back? It would appear so. So I'm gonna just try jumping and not getting a running start and see. Oh, wait, but before I do that, looks like there's stuff down here. Anything back there? Nope. I'm guessing I have to fall from there. And then I come back up here and that's how I get back. Gotcha. Yep, it would appear that that's how that works. No! No, no! 
I did not make it. That's kind of painful. How many hearts do I lose? I had like two hearts. I lose an entire heart for that? Jeez! See, so... I'm definitely gonna get a running start. When I do that. Actually, I don't know how... Oh, well, I'm just supposed to talk to him at this point. I... Hold on. <laughs> make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it! Yeah! What's in here? A soldier's claymore. Two-handed sword designed for combat. It's heavy and hard to use, but has decent build and durability. That's what I want to hear. About things that are not going to break. Easily at this point, anyway. Made it! Alright! Let's go talk to this, these creepy statue things. Is it gonna look like the other ones? This one looks kinda like it's leaning to the side or something. Yeah, this one's not in the meditative state. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. So you're gonna give me something and it's gonna... I'm just gonna dissolve again like all the other their buddies. But I guess every time I get four of these, I can return to the Temple of Time and get something new. Spirit Orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of the shrine. It's literally the same thing every time. May the goddess smile upon you. Alright, do I get insta teleported out? Or do I have to make my way out of the temple? Oh, I guess I'm gonna get insta teleported out. Alright, so we found our our first of these. That's always good, right? These are all gonna be scattered about all over the place. East Post Ruins. Is this being all marked on my map so that I actually know what the heck's going on? No, it's not. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh, it's a bunch of you. Oh, I have the wrong thing. I have, I have, I have, I have, I have the wrong thing equipped. We want these. Yes, okay. What the heck? Are you using a broom? You're using a broom! Take the broom! A wooden- oh, never mind. It's a mop. Just a mop to the untrained eye. It excels at tidying up the place. But it owes its study- so, I'm sorry, sturdy construction to a true craftsman. So it actually has become- has some combat merit. But you can't carry anymore. Did I get them? I got one of them. Yeah, I get it. It's badly damaged. Your rusty sword is broken. That's okay, because you've got a mop! It's time to mop the floor with these guys. And your rusty broadsword. All the other non-nutritious items that you are dropping all over the place. Is there a point for me climbing these? Sorry, what? That is like a floating building over there. So if Link climbs this up ever so slowly, we might actually make it to the top. And what I'm hoping to get to the top, I'm hoping it'll be like, hey, totally label everywhere you are at. Oh, look, it's the Red X of Death. Well, maybe at the very least I can, like, hang glide. Oh, wait. 
there's definitely going to be something up here if I can actually make it. Which, right now, it's looking like I'm not going to make it by the skin of my teeth. What in the actual... Wait a minute. Can I access the menu while well, I'm... Interesting. If... I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to get as high as I can. Then I'm going to eat one of the stamina material things that I've picked up. And see if it gives me just enough stamina to get up there, because... You know what's up there? It's all the, the little leafy things up there. It's gonna be one of those little guys. And I don't know what purpose they serve to me. But... So I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Getting there. Alright. Number of hearts. I have to have something in here. To restore stamina. Speed boost. There was something I had. Those are special items. It was a food based item that if I had it, this, the mushroom. Cook it to release the stamina or rest it. But it's not cooked. Or it just do. So I have to cook it for it to have effect. Fantastic. <laughs> Come on and slam! And then you lose all these hearts. Fantastic. Oh my god, you... You are so painful. How can I label? I'm not gonna just leave it though. Smart thing to do would be to label it. So... I'll label it with this little, little leaf thing so that I know to come back here and get it. And then when I find him... I'll probably remove the leaf symbol. Hey, that's a... never mind. That's a stork that I'm gonna not shoot because it's gonna fly away. Oh, hey, there's a treasure chest. Traveler's bow. You have too many of these, your inventory's full. Alright, so do we have any bows of lesser quality than the traveler's bow? We do not. In fact, everything we have is better. Oh boy, it's one of my favorite people out there. Oh man, this tree. Oh, really? Drop this next to the tree and blow it up. Stop rolling towards me! Alright, now what happens if I blow up the log? Will it still give me supplies? Oh! The more you know. Wanna bet that there would be another one of these little guys right up on that flagpole? Maybe it's just on the one that I found. I don't know. But if it's not the one I labeled, I'm gonna be checking it because now I feel like every single one of these flagpoles can be like a little hiding spot for them because why else? Why not? Let's get up here. Also, if we can find a place to cook, that'll be useful, right? Because then I can prepare all of those mushrooms. So that I can get stamina. Sure, I may not make it to the top again, but if I see the little swirly leaf things, of course the flag is gonna block my view of it.
Oh boy, chicken nuggets. Raw bird drumstick. This meat is tougher and chewier than a standard steak. Tastes better if cooked. I would imagine, Link, anything that is not raw will likely taste. Hello? The stag's getting away! Got it. Oh man, that's huge. Raw prime meat. A fresh, highly high quality piece of animal meat. This stuff is easy to come by, so savor it. Cook it to recover more hearts. I'll bet. Oh, that's a horse. Oh my god. You are also a choo choo trying to kill me! That looks like it's a horse. I'm not sure if it's a horse. That is a. That is not a horse! I repeat, that is not a horse! Got kind of excited for nothing, I guess you could say. I got some raw meat. Whoa. Look at this crazy person. Octo balloon. This inflatable octorock organ has a lot of lifts. So attach it to items you want to see flow. Hold it in your hands and then place it on an object to attract it. Octorock tentacle. This can only be obtained from an Octorock type enemy. It's too acidic for cooking, but it's highly valued as an ingredient for elixirs. Lots of exploring to be done. I like how I get further and further away from where I'm technically supposed to go. I'm traveling would be a lot easier if I had a horse. That much I know of this game, of the things I saw. If you have a horse, you're pretty good to go. Oh, hey, what? Those are people. Oops, I struck the wrong person. Sure, let's use this. Funny, I don't remember asking for your help, and now they'll call me the rude one if I don't thank you somehow. Hardy salt grilled fish restores your health and temporarily increases your maximum hearts. A simple dish made by rolling a whole fish in natural rock salt before grinding it. I'll get them next time for sure. Uh. I want to be clear, whatever treasure is to be had here belongs to us, so don't go poking around. Not that anyone in their right mind would be poking around here for treasure to begin with. But if my sister says this is where we search, then this is where we search, even if I wish we could just go home. Hey, we're not here for a chin wag. Hurry up and find some treasure, bug family. Well, hate to break it to you, but I have found the treasure. Emblazoned shield. 
This net, this shield features a traditional design from Nakluda. Its combat capabilities are much better than the standard wooden shields, but it found popularity for its design. Your inventory is full. Alright, so of my shields. I guess I'll get rid of this. So that I can get this. Because it looks like it's in better shape. Actually, it's the exact same thing. Gotcha. carry any more melee weapons. I wish there was a way to quickly just drop whatever you're holding. Alright, let's see. Let's drop. No! I don't want to drop that. I want to drop this. So I can pick up the rusty sword. But I'm linked. I'm supposed to be using swords. Come on now. Rusty Claymore to hand him. But you can't carry anymore. How much is it? Rusty Claymore, Rusty Claymore, Rusty Claymore. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything I want to lose yet. I guess it's gonna have to sit there. There's running water near here. Oh gee, I wonder what that is. Oh wait, what? That was not expected. Oh my god, what? Is that my- Oh my god, I ran out of arrows?! I can't do anything! Probably the oh, it's multiple of them that I have to shoot. I guess. Let me get away from this. What if it's a reward and I can't get it because I don't have anything? Don't, don't. Hurts me like hell. Hurts everyone else like nothing. But away from me! on these guys anymore either. Huh. Nope, didn't get close enough to them. Always close enough to blow me up though. Yup. Oh, you have a lot of apples. Get away from me! Again, just far enough not to blow up the tree. Always close enough to blow me up though. Stay here. Boom. Let's pick up all of these lovely, wonderful apples in all of its abundance. I got two birds with one stone. Gather all of these supplies while I can. I'm sure they're gonna come in useful at some point. Alright, little body of water. Mm 
<gasps> Those are horses. That for sure is a horse. Not a horse! horse down. I don't know how to tame the horse. I kind of have no control over him right now. it? Better question. I may regret this. I don't get off the horse. What if? I'm just saying, right? What do they always show us in cartoons? Horses love apples, right? Whoa! Whoa! I hate you people! What have you done? What have you done? You just scared off my horse! You bunch of... Okay, we gotta get out of here, though. Just because I don't want you to get injured, because I don't know if that's a thing that can happen here. Okay, Sue. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm clicking in the left stick. Okay, okay. Relax. Relax. Alright, I'm gonna get off of you. I'm going to hold an apple. I'm going to try and offer you the apple. Hey, see, you like that, huh? Don't you, buddy? They hold three apples. There you go. See, I'm not such a bad guy, am I? Do you want to cooperate with me? Alright. Let's go see what else is around here. So I know they like apples, and I like, and I know they like being soothed. Yeah. Whoa, let's not fall down there, huh? Oh god, it's the flock of keys again. Can we outmaneuver the keys? No!
Is that a temple over there? Something shiny is over there. That looks like... what? Outskirt stable? I can talk to him. Hey, w welcome. Is it that obvious? I'm into horses, so I got a job with the Stable Association, which is great and all, but they dispatched me here in the middle of nowhere, which I can handle, but they have me working around the clock. I feel so hazy all the time. Sounds rough. If only I could eat some meat for energy, but the Stable Meals are vegetarian for the most part. Uh, what would I do for some fresh caught raw gourmet meat? Side quest! A rare find. A traveler, tell me, have you seen a pure white horse anywhere? A long time back, my grandfather told me that he once saw the royal family's white horse grazing on Safula Hill. The thing is, just the other day, one of our customers said he saw a white horse on Safula Hill recently. Could it be a relative of the royal family's white horse from my grandfather's days? Well, if you happen to see a white horse on your travels, do you think you could bring it back to me? Leave it to me. Thank you. If you see the white horse, please register it at the stable and bring it to me. The white horse on Safula Hill supposedly has a beautiful, pure white coat without any mottling. I hear it's very elusive, though. Good luck. A royal white stallion. Oh, that guy looks familiar. Hey, I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call me... Actually, just stick with Beetle. But even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped backpack. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price. Or my name's not Beetle. I also buy all sorts of things if you're in need of rupees. Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? Uh... Look what I've got? Tell me something you've got. I don't want to sell you anything. What have you got? You have arrows, which I do need a lot of. He has 20 in stock. Or I can get... I get the price is 6 for 20, I guess? Or I can get... Times 5 for 30. Which I don't have. I have my 20 rupees. I'm gonna buy arrows. I'll take them all. Hey. You don't have enough rupees, that's embarrassing. Wait, is it one arrow for 20 rupees? I mean, I'm sorry, one arrow for 6 rupees? Because that's... That puts me at 14 if I buy it, right? Wow, what? That's expensive. Okay, so maybe I will sell you some stuff. I'll sell two of these. Wow. He is so cheap though. All of that for just one? I thought it was like, you get 20 for six. Alright, this guy. Welcome. Will you be staying with us? A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. A soft bed is 40. What's the soft bed? The soft bed is a special bed we're proud to offer here at the stable. It costs more than a regular bed, but you'll wake up more energized. Will you be staying with us? Regular bed? No. Come see us again. Okay, this is clearly for horses. So I want to know how do I register said horse here. Rumor Mill, Volume 3. Read. Time for gossip and news about the past and the future. Today's topic is the weird and wonderful spirit Koroks. At the moment, the night is at its darkest when even the trees have drifted into slumber. Actually, the time of day doesn't matter at all, anyway. All throughout the world, you may spot these 
odd little spirit critters as you wander the land. They could be under a rock or way out in the wild, or even just in a suspicious nook that seems slightly not right. Real eerie, huh? Tracy's recommendation, three stars. Oh, okay, it's just the same thing. Gotcha. Got it. Got it. I got it. Let me talk to the sleeping guy. Veggies are good for you. They're very yummy. Mm. Thank you for letting me know that, I guess? Question mark? Asterisk? Right, if I talk to you over here, will you let me register a horse or something? Hi. Welcome to my stable. We do all sorts of horse related things. We also double as an inn. Huh? I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? I don't. Ah. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses and you're able to swap horses in and out as you please. Do you know how to catch a wild horse? This system. Ah. To catch a wild horse, all you have to do is approach it from behind slowly so it doesn't notice you, then hop on. These are all animals we're talking about, so if the horse you're riding starts to act up, try soothing it. It will eventually settle down, and when that happens,